All right, we are on surf dive right now off around the corner. Coming up to Thunderbolt. There's a train actually coming up with a lift right now. crazy guys because I'm um, over here by this dumpster and there's just dragonflies everywhere. I don't know why, it's just weird. Dragonflies. Alright, we've come around up to the boardwalk now and we are standing directly in front of the Thunderbolt. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure this is the park's newest roller coaster. Um, so, it should be pretty smooth. I'm not really sure what to expect. I've heard some rumors that it's a little bit rough, but I'm still kind of excited. So, let's get on this bad boy here. Hopefully it's included in the wristband. Oh dear god. Uh. Well, there we go. I feel like we're really high off the track here. Uh, I don't like this. I'm also stapled to my seat ridiculously. Like, what the hell? Alright, let's go. Oh dear. Uh, I like that there's brakes on the lift hill. That, that really scares me here. Oh god. Ah, oh, my legs. <laughs> oh dear. Everyone was telling me to take my glasses off. It was probably a good idea. I don't know. Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, nice view of the city though. Too bad. <laughs> that was a little bit, a little bit terrifying. My back only slightly hurt, so made it. <laughs> it wasn't actually as bad as uh, Thigh Crush, surprisingly. I don't know why they couldn't just make regular over-the-shoulder restraints. Those things are a little. Yeah, it's a 90-degree drop. out of here. <laughs> Alright, we just came off the Thunderbolt, the uh, 90 degree lift hill, the uh, version. It's made by Zamperla, which is pretty interesting, because I know they don't manufacture too many roller coasters. And to tell you the truth, it was pretty rough, guys. I don't recommend it. Um, honestly, it's not a very smooth and enjoyable ride. In fact, I was pinned into my seat. Like, I would have been much happier with regular over-the-shoulder restraints than what they did there. Like, Incredibly painful lap bars. It was uh, almost as bad as Sky Rush. I don't think it was as bad as Sky Rush with restraints, but I don't know. The ride experience itself wasn't that good either. So, you know, I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you guys have experienced this one. Tell me what you guys think. 
Yeah, I, I really didn't like that one too much. But yeah, right now we're gonna head over to Soarin' Eagle and uh, see how that is. My expectations are pretty low for Soarin' Eagle, but you know what? Hey, it's worth it for the credit. We're trying to get all credits possible here. So I don't think they make you take your glasses off on any other rides because I saw some people wearing glasses now that I look closer, but uh, yeah, like that kid's wearing some glasses. I don't know, it, it seems a bit sketchy. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna wear my glasses. I'm gonna do it for you guys. So, you know, leave a like if you guys appreciate me risking uh, losing my $200 glasses because I really don't want to lose these. I'm gonna try and hold on tight. You guys can see that massive, where is it? Right there, where my thumb is. Right there, huge vertical loop. Wow, okay. This is pretty crazy looking right here. Where did I go? So many. <laughs> Definitely a weird restraint system. I gotta hit it. It's like a reverse Superman Ultimate Flight, so instead of like going on your back, you go on your stomach. I feel like this is gonna be a little bit more comfortable with the ride as far as uh, getting stuck in the station goes. A little bit of a line. I've been here for about 10 minutes so far. It's not, not too bad, at least. Well, it's really not that bad, actually. I'm surprised. I was expecting to be waiting a lot. But obviously, up next after we get off here. I'm pretty excited for that. Here we go. Is she pushing? I can't tell. So you have to, like, get on it while it's moving. And then, like, step up on the rear ladder. Pretty weird. I don't know. I've never seen anything like this before. And as they come back, you walk across the, the platform, which is even weirder because you're walking in front of a moving train. It's crazy. It's totally unheard of. Like, I've never seen a roller coaster like this ever. Pretty awesome. Here we go. Let's hop right on. It's more of a construction project. You're like walking up on ladders.
eggs. Was that fun? Yeah. Uh, I expected it to be more fun. That was, that was pretty fun. Like was a little crazy. My like, hair was stabbing me. Oh, okay. Whew. A little painful. Oh, I can breathe. Get out now. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cool. Alright, we just came off Soar and Eagle. Um, it wasn't as rough as actually I was expecting. I was expecting it to be much rougher than that. It was pretty enjoyable. Uh, just my back kind of went out a little bit to uh, a couple of those back turns away. And I had to hold on to my glasses pretty tight since we were facing the ground. And it just, yeah, it was pretty fun though. Enjoyed it. Pretty nice. Right now we're gonna head over to Steeple Chase so we can get my credit on that. And then we're gonna check out some flat rides. excited for this one guys. It looks like a lot of fun. I've never been on a ride with horse uh, seats like that besides the parasol. Like, so cool looking. Yeah. We're running two trains today which is really nice. It's always good when there's two trains on the coaster. Keeps the line moving. That launch looks pretty intense actually. I wasn't actually allowed to wear my glasses on the ride for some reason and uh, the freaking restraints man the restraints are so weird on that ride <laughs> holy crap like they push down on your back like that's where the restraint is and it pushes you up forward against the horse hold on I'm gonna zoom in real quick on one of the trains it's pretty crazy like I mean, uh, it's pretty uncomfortable the launch was actually a lot more intense than I was expecting Included with the wristband is the Pony Island Raceway as well as the Slingshot Attraction back here. Can't see it really, it's right there. But uh, yeah, so I'm not sure which I'm gonna go on first. The Pony Island Raceway looks pretty pretty packed right now. Pretty pretty long line there, so we might not do that right now. Because as you guys know, if you're riding go-karts, it takes kind of a long time. You know, they're only running one race at a time, so. We'll come back to that a little bit later. I think for now I'm gonna use the back end and then maybe head over and ride some flat rides stuff that doesn't have super long lines. As you guys know, uh, today is a Wednesday, so it's not super crowded, which is nice, but uh, there are lines for certain attractions, you know, like the, uh, the Thunderbolt over there had a line, uh, Steve Chase had a bit of a line, as well as uh, Soaring Eagle over there. So uh, it's good to get on all the coasters first if you're coming here, especially on a weekend when it's busy. So this really isn't busy at all. And uh, yeah, it does look a little bit busy now that I uh, evaluate the boardwalk situation here. The beach has quite a bit of people on it. it. Doesn't look like too many people are in the water swimming today though. It might be a little bit chilly. It's not really hot out. It's like 75 degrees or so, so it's maybe maybe around 80. It's not super hot though, so it's not like everybody's rushing to get into the water. And plus, the water here probably isn't the cleanest, you know. It's New York City. It's not like it's uh, you know somewhere out in the tropical. Nice. But, uh, right now we're gonna walk down here to the, uh, the middle area. Again, I don't know what the sections are called here, but we're gonna walk right down the middle by that big wheel. We're gonna check out some rides over here. Coming in the central part of the, uh, the boardwalk over here, we've got Dino's Wonder Wheel, and in front of it is a bunch of kitty rides. Really cute little rides. You got a little fire truck ride over here, and you got a pony cart ride. There's dragons over there, which is a really a kid's ride. Like, you can get those dragons spinning really fast. It's not a kid's ride. I'm telling you guys right now. And we've got a little drop tower over here. And then coming back over this way, you've got some awesome American themed shooting. I don't even know what the heck kind of ride this is. Uh, you got little guns and stuff, it's awesome. Doesn't look like they do anything. It's still a very cool little flight ride. 
and welcome aboard. Awesome little kitty ride here. Again, all these parks are actually free to walk into. Like, everything is free admission. You just have to buy tickets or a wristband if you want to actually ride anything. Nice little kitty whip over here called the Speedway. Got one of those classic uh, motorcycle rides over there with the uh, spinning top. It's pretty awesome. Nice classic carousel. There's another carousel on the other side of the park over by the uh, the big parachute tower back over there. So they're going to beat that. So there's two carousels that I know of. There might, there might even be a third one by the cyclone. I'm not sure. Awesome little train ride here for the kids. And you got a little rock and tug. Oh, it's not even a rock and tug. It's like a little mini pirate ship ride. It's kind of cool. And you've got the truck. So you can see little kid trucks, of course. These things were always fun. I, I used to love these when I was a kid. I have one of Jenkinson's. It's not as cool as that one. And there's Dino's Wonder Wheel. And they're all the stories. Super cool. And they got a little, uh, little kitty coaster over there called the Sea Serpent. I might try to get on that. It looks like I can ride it. So let's get our credit. <laughs> I wasn't going to get ready to ride it, but apparently I can't ride it. I forgot. We're not in, uh, in the park right now. We're in Dino's Wonder Wheel. So anything that's in this area is not included in my wristband. Which is somewhat unfortunate, but you know what? That's okay. I'm just going to miss out on that one credit. It's no big deal. But right now we're going to walk under to the Wonder Wheel. I'm going to see how much a ticket costs. I might go for a ride on this. Looks pretty fun. I don't know if I actually can go for a ride on it. If it's anything like the Wheel of Great Adventure, you have to have somebody else with you. You can't ride it alone. So, let's see, uh, let's see what the deal is here. Straight ahead. Dino's Wonder Wheel. Gosh, look at this. Sorry. Wonder Wheel. Five ticket special. So if you just want a Wonder Wheel ticket, it's $8. It's kind of expensive. Uh, Wonder Cars are $8 as well. Here's all the ride ticket prices. <laughs> they have another ride called the Thunderbolt. What? It's not a uh, roller coaster. This, this Thunderbolt is a uh, music ride. It's kind of interesting. So this is a very interesting, compact little area down here. Very cool. Looks like a little dark ride. Oh, ooh, it's a dark ride. I wonder how much this costs. Probably should have looked on the sign. <laughs> it's really cool. Like okay. It's old school SL. Wow. It's a really old dark ride. If any of you guys have any information on this ride here, let me know in the comments. It's called Spookerama. And it's right here at Dino's Wonder Wheel. And come around back here. Oh, Spookerama's $8. Okay. Yeah, let's not ride that. All the rides in Dino's are very expensive. It looks like the ride has a really cool uh, lighting back. So I could see some neon lights goes going across the whole lane. The ride, it's really cool. I might come back. I think Dino's Wonder Wheel is open later, later in Luna Park, so maybe later on tonight after uh, Luna Park closes, I might come back to that. This right here is pretty cool. It's like a big spaceship. It says Astroland Park. It might have been part of a ride at one point. I believe they did have a ride where it was just like a swinging starship. I don't know if this was part of it or not, but it's a very cool looking rocket here. We got a Thunderbolt over here, called Thunderbolt. All right, we're coming out to street level right now. Uh, Dino's Wonder Wheel in the background right there looks so cool. It was really interesting, this whole area back here. Super interesting, it's like a bazaar almost. Like you just walk through there and there's stuff on all sides. You got markets on both sides. It's just a really, really cool little area there. I want to, want to check out that dark ride, but it's $8 and I, I don't really feel like paying extra money for that. We have a whole bunch of other rides we can check out on the rest band. Right now we're going to head into the main, uh, looks like the main entrance for Luna Park that we passed earlier. Right here. Alright, let's head in here. A ton of rides in here, guys. I think we already walked through the back section of this. But I kind of want to get on that log thing. I don't know if I want to ride it right now, but it's there. It's there if I want it. Felt moons. This ride's kind of cool right here. I'm not too sure what it does. It looks like it's more geared towards kids, so I'm not going to get on it. But I don't know. 50 leads here with a prize. Gotta whack them hard and fast, guys. Hard and fast. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? I really love the atmosphere here. Everybody seems so nice. I think we're gonna get on the star flyer. Five credits. Let's do that. Let's so that's five dollars that you put on the car. So that's five each person. 
That's 15 for you. Pretty fun actually, I enjoyed that. The Brooklyn Flyer, I think is what it was called. Pretty awesome ride, not gonna lie. Felt like you were gonna hit like the grassy thing in the middle there. They had like a fence like guarding the whole middle of the ride. Yeah, it felt like it was like gonna go crazy. Alright guys, never mind, y'all not loud enough. Pull in and push up, pull in and push up. <laughs> I think he was gonna make him go backwards, but they weren't screaming loud enough, so he just stopped the ride. Oh well. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't know what type of ride this is here. Pony Island Sound is what it's called. I don't know. It's open. I don't know if I can wear my glasses on it though. Here's how I here's how I know whether or not I can wear my glasses on right now. I actually look at the people on it and I see if they're wearing glasses or if they make them take them off. I just never see anyone wearing glasses, so it's just like I always take my chances. There's one for a kite flyer over here, as well as a tiny little drop tower. Cute. We walked by some other stuff earlier. And I got this thing over here. It says Luna. I don't know what it is really. It's like one of those spinning disc rides. Doesn't look like an invert, but it's still it's pretty cool. And over here you got one of those Impella swing rides. It's pretty cool. And a rocking tub. And what is this back here? I almost missed it. It's like a tiny little mermaid ride. It's pretty cute. Meant for the little ones, of course. It's like a tiny little mini log thing. It's adorable. Little miniature log flume. Splash. Not much of a splash, but still, really cool. I've never actually seen a log flume this size. Tiny, cute little kitty log flume. I think we're gonna check out Windstar back here now. I think this looks like a pretty fun ride. Let's do it. Oh, 
Cool. This looks like a lot of fun. Let's do it. Well, I'm in line right now. I'm right at the entrance. But it looks like it's broken down. It looks like maintenance is working on it right now. Hopefully it gets a fix soon. I don't know. Looks like fun. Alright, so the Zamperla Windstars is broken. I don't know why. It just doesn't work. The uh, maintenance guy was standing there for a while. And then it looked like a supervisor came over there and tried to fix it. And then a maintenance guy came and like no one no one was able to fix it. I was standing there for about 10 or 15 minutes. So right now we're going to head over and get another ride in on the Cyclone. Because why not? We're right over here anyway. So let's do it. guys we just came out the cyclone for the fourth time I got to sit in the second row that was really cool and I actually didn't have to use my glasses guys I actually recorded that POV using my phone in 4k so that's really awesome I wasn't expecting to be able to do that like I thought they'd tell me to put my cell phone away but then I noticed the girl in front of me had her cell phone out and she was recording and they didn't say anything to her so I pulled mine out too and started BAM like they didn't care at all really awesome it's cool of them to allow that so now we're gonna head over to my car real quick because my phone battery is really low I only have 6% battery right this second, so we're gonna head back to my car, charge it up a little bit, and then get back out and ride some more rides. Walking down Surf Ave right now toward where my car's parked, and it's really cool. They have this auto scooter thing, which is basically just bumper cars, and they advertise that you can bump your ass off. <laughs> I think that's pretty cool. Uh, let's take a little peek in there. It's weird that it's in this little cage, like I don't understand why. But, oh, cool. That's pretty awesome. It's all pitch black, like none of the headlights are on. It's like a. Uh, that's pretty awesome. Not gonna lie. 
It looks like the lines for Nathan's have uh, significantly gone down since I got here earlier. Holy crap, like look at this. There's hardly any line in there at all. Maybe, uh, maybe I'll get a hot dog? I don't know. What do you guys think? Post in the comments if you guys think I should get a hot dog. It doesn't mean I will because I can't see your comments yet because the video isn't out yet. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I didn't get a hot dog. <laughs> right over here we have the infamous parachute jump tower also known as the Eiffel Tower of Brooklyn. It's 250 feet tall, it weighs like 170 tons or 700 tons or something crazy like that. And uh, it's been closed for a long time, guys. I believe uh, it's been open for the 1939 World's Fair in Coney Island. And that's pretty interesting. It was the first ride of its kind. It was a parachute jump tower, similar to the one that I, re I rode at uh, Great Adventure. Sorry, I'm like walking and talking at the same time. It's kind of tough. A lot of walking involved here, guys, because um, this is all the way on the other side of uh, the cyclone, and we just came from the cyclone, so I just walked all the way down here. Anyway, I uh, really appreciate how cool this thing looks. It's very, very cool up close. It's huge, and it looks like down here they have uh, little, little plaques on the ground, or I guess uh, monuments, indicating where the parachutes would have been. It's pretty cool. There's like a ladder going all the way up to the top, too. I couldn't imagine being the person who has to climb that ladder to get to the top. Over here we got some NYPD. Here's a cool pier out over here. Maybe I'll take a walk out there real quick. Taking a little break from the rides, guys. My stomach's a little bit... Eh. You know, we've been on a lot today. I rode the Cyclone four times already. And here's another entrance into the uh, baseball stadium. And Thunderbolts. Bad boy over there. Pretty extreme ride, not gonna lie. Might ride Thunderbolt one more time before I leave, just cause. So I showed you guys the carousel on the other side of the park. Now, uh, over here by the parachute tower, we have another carousel. So uh, let's walk in here and take a quick look. Endeavor, which is uh, one of the newer style uh, rides here. Oh man, my stomach hurts really bad after that. Like, oh, I don't feel good at all. Yeah, what I meant to say, it's like a newer style enterprise. Like, it's not like one of the classic enterprises that they have. Pretty good, pretty good ride though. You, know, you got to be into the spinny type of ride. I'm not really into that type of stuff. It messes with my stomach a lot. But uh, it was fun, you know. Not gonna lie, it's pretty fun. Uh, now we're gonna walk into the other park and see what else we can ride. I wasn't allowed to wear my glasses on that, but they made me take it off. Just sort of stuff. Yeah, I'm just taking a little rest right now, guys. Sitting down. Been walking around a lot today. I need to drink a little bit more water. I think uh, I already drank a few bottles of water, but I still don't feel like I'm totally hydrated. I'm a little bit hot and sweaty. The ride definitely made me a little queasy. So uh, yeah, just give me a moment. So like I said earlier, I have the go-karts on my wristband, but I really don't feel like riding on this line. The line seems to have gotten even worse than before. I don't know how that's possible, but we are not waiting that. Holy crap. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today. I might come back here again during the summer to try to ride some more stuff, but for now, that's gonna do it, guys. I really don't feel well after riding that Enterprise style of track. I was gonna try and ride the cycle one more time, but I really don't think I have it in me, guys. So I'm gonna head out. Thank you so much for 